Hello everyone and welcome back. If you do not know me, I am Ren and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. TikTok is an app that is obviously very popular among many young people and unfortunately many of the more conventionally attractive young girls get attention from older men who are looking to prey on them. TikTok is odd in that it kind of celebrates this as uh, it has its token girl of the month or girl of the week as some people may call it. However, the problem the problem arises when that girl of the month is either a freshly 18 year old girl, like just turned 18, or literally just an underage teenage girl. These girls of the month often experience hate from the adults on the app saying that these girls are overrated or not even that pretty or they're rude. Many of these adults that are getting angry are grown ass women though, uh, normally in their 20s or 30s, and let me reiterate, there are grown ass women on this app getting mad at underage girls or girls who had just okay. okay you know they're getting mad at these underage girls who are freshly 18 or you know 16 to 17 or as you'll discover later in this video in middle school Oh, I accidentally kicked my tripod. You know, they're just getting mad that these underage girls or like 18 year old girls are getting attention from grown men on TikTok. Uh, they're not mad at the grown men for viewing these young like girls or young women's content and sexualizing them. They're mad at the girls for merely existing because they're just conventionally attractive online. Doesn't matter the age, you will always find a grown-ass woman saying something about these young girls. And it's not just the grown women being like this either. Like, it's it's very much the men as well that are taking part in this. And here's just a list of things that all these grown-ass fucking adults have given as to why they're hating on teenagers who are just potentially being victimized online. One, they're overrated. Two, they're slutty. Three, they're not even that pretty. Four, they're just rude. Five, they're annoying. Who knew that children would be annoying. Six, she wears too much makeup, even though most teenage girls wear makeup. She's not even that funny because everyone expects a 15 to 18 year old to be a comedy genius. I get it. <laughs> yeah, and also grown ass adults calling teenagers slutty online checks out i guess now that i've gotten the problem with all like all of this out of the way let me introduce you to a girl of the month that i came across that experienced this phenomenon quite heavily uh she is in middle school though her name is esley she is either in eighth grade in middle school or just freshly out of middle school starting high school i believe i've seen that she is in middle school though as you can see from her videos she just posts dancing videos and lip syncing videos very normal stuff for a child of her age to be posting nothing insane or even like crazy like, there's not even anything to, like, really dislike. She's just a kid. Yet, I have seen so many videos by grown-ass people airing out their grievances with this child, none of which bring up anything truly problematic. And even if it was problematic, she's a kid? Like, wow, I'm very glad you, as an 18-year-old, think that this middle schooler is overhyped. Really just sticking it to her, huh? You, you, you got that. You got her there, girl. Oh, but the glazers aren't anything better. What do you mean you're making edits to Chase Atlantic's song, Slow Down, of a fucking 12 to 14 year old? You're a creep. You're not- You're not a fan. You need to have your search history checked. Like, if I see anyone posting an edit of what is basically a child, I'm automatically going to assume that they need to be on some sort of watch list. And to the men who are mad that she got famous for being pretty, why are you mad at her? <laughs> you should be mad at the other men who made her popular to begin with because their grown asses thought that a middle schooler was hot. Or the people who get mad at Esley for having like... 
You're getting perrito. You're being too chaotic for like three more minutes while I finish this. I promise you. This is how I'm gonna keep him quiet for the rest of this video. <laughs> or the people who are mad at Esli for having like glazers than getting mad at the actual adults who are doing that or like fangirling over a 14 year old solely because she's pretty. Like, that's weird. If you're an adult and you're doing that, that's weird. It, I don't even think they have to be a child for that to be weird. That's just weird. I, I just think Esli is a little girl. Uh, she doesn't deserve the harassment she gets from older women and men because she's just a goofy kid. Like, that's literally all there is to it. All the freaks who are involved in who she's dating or how much makeup she wears or how funny she is. Go outside and touch grass and stop obsessing over children before the feds find you. I think Esli was the most and still remains the most prominent example of this creepy phenomenon, but just know she's not the only one that's been a part of this. Tons of young girls are victimized by this phenomenon because of old men and let's not forget that. Even going back to Esli as an example, I think I think it's evident that it's not just because they're pretty, it's because they're being sexualized. As two of the top results when you search this child's name is Esli's boyfriend or Esli's swimsuit. And that's gross. <laughs> if you're one of the grown ass people, especially women, like who are making fun of the random ass girl of the month that happens to crop up on TikTok. You're not cool. In fact, given the ages of them, you're fucking weird. You're no different than the men who have put them on this pedestal to begin with. Especially to those who are like being a disgrace by labeling themselves a feminist in their bio while also sitting there and putting down young girls who are just, again, potentially being victimized. These girls, especially underage ones, are very much the victims in these scenarios. They're victims of becoming popular for the wrong reasons and attracting the wrong type of attention simply by existing. They didn't do anything to get this attention, they just posted online and got it. And they are not to blame for that. It's the people watching, sharing, and leaving nasty comments who are to blame not the victims. By you as an adult getting mad at these young girls for getting popular because of these reasons, you're victim blaming. Like, you're victim blaming 100%. You gotta be quiet for these last two sentences, okay? Please. I cannot imagine being so insecure with myself that I would sit there and blame a middle school aged girl for the way adult men have made her popular and sexualized her. That's fucking insane. And the women placing blame on these girls are just downright delusional. Like you're just delusional. If you'd like to support me and my channel, you can subscribe and leave a comment. And if you'd like to buy my next Happy Meal, you can become a channel member by hitting the join button. Anywho, I'm Ren, I'm tired, and thank you for watching.